Welcome to my channel Winchem. Today we are going to see chemical kinetics part 4, activation energy problems and tricks. We'll see one by one. Okay. The first one we are going to see the tricks, activation energy tricks. This form, this slide already I included in the formula itself, chemical kinetics formula itself. Once again I am including in this uh, video because uh, it's easy for you to solve upcoming problems. The enthalpy change which is equal to activation energy of the forward reaction minus the activation energy of the backward reaction. Okay, This is the activation energy of the forward, this is backward. The difference between these two we called as a delta H that is enthalpy change. If the difference is less than 0 otherwise if the forward reaction activation energy of the forward you know if it is less then it is exothermic. If the activation energy of the forward is more then it is endothermic. You just keep this in the mind then you can able to do all the problems. If it is exothermic means that is the value we will get is negative value, negative value exothermic that is less than 0. It may be a minus 1, 2, 3 that is less than 0. So you can say it as less than 0, negative or activation energy of forward reaction is less. If these three are there then it is exothermic reaction. And in the same way if the activation energy of the forward reaction is more or if the uh, delta H value is positive or um, the next one is that is endothermic reaction. Okay, these three is there means then it is endothermic reaction. That is the uh, activation energy of the forward reaction is more means then it is endothermic reaction. We will see one by one. The first reaction. For a reversible reaction, the activation energy of the forward and the backward reaction is 50 kilojoule and 30 kilojoule respectively. If energy of the reactant is 30 k kilojoule, what is the energy of the product? So, what is the formula we just now we saw that delta H is equal to activation energy of the forward minus the backward. Here backward and the forward and the backward both the, uh, both the values have given. Just insert into that and you solve 50 minus 30 kilojoule and what is the value of delta H? Delta H is 20 kilojoule per mole, mole inverse, kilojoule per mole inverse. So what they are asking if the energy of the reactant is 30 kilojoule, what is the energy of the product? Energy of the reactant and product they are asking. So delta H is equal to delta product, sorry, high energy of the product, uh, the enthalpy of the product, whatever we can say. Okay, enthalpy of the product minus the enthalpy of the reactant. Here the product has given us, they are asking product. So reactant has given us 30. So delta H what we have found out is 20, is just insert the 20 and the reactant is 30, it's already is there in the problem. And we have to find out the product, enthalpy of product or energy of the product. Okay, energy of the product which is equal to 20, this minus 30 comes over here, then it is plus, or what is the value of the product? 50 kilojoule. The next sum is, see here what is the type of reaction we have to say, but they are not asking, but we need to know what is that. So delta H is here the forward reaction, you know, forward EA, which is higher, 50 kilojoule compared to the backward. So it is, what is that? It is positive endothermic reaction. The value you will get is positive only because it is more, okay? If this is more, then you will get negative value. Negative value means exothermic. If this is more, surely you will get positive value and then it is a endothermic reaction. So what they are saying, which means reactant have a lower energy. What is the reactant? Reactant will be a lower energy compared to the product. The next sum. The rate of the reaction quadruples when the temperature changes from 293 Kelvin to 313 Kelvin. Calculate the energy of activation of the reaction assuming, assuming that it does not change with the temperature. So temperature T1 and T2 has given and the rate constant is also given. Okay, sorry, rate constant, how they are going? That is quadruples, quadruples that is given in the rate of the reaction. The rate of the reaction quadruples means the K2 is just equal to 4 times of the K1. That is the meaning of the quadruples. Quadruples is 4 times, 4 times of the K1. So we know the value, we know the formula of this one log K2 by K1 which is equal to activation energy divided by 2.303 R T2 minus T1 divided by T1 T2. The two temperatures are given and the EA is the activation energy. They are asking the activation energy. We need to find the activation energy. So we know that one of the K1 but for another one is we doesn't know. So we just keep it K1 as, as it is. The, instead of K2, we can put it as a 4K1 which is equal to EA all the values we need to insert it into that r is equal to 8.314 and 2.303 is the value we just included 313 that is the t2 and t1 is 293 just insert a t1 and t2 t2 minus t1 divided into t1 into t2 t2 so what will happen this we need to find out the ea first we will uh, we will uh, sub, we will 
insert all the values and we will keep it as it is and we will find out the ea okay 0.6021 which is equal to 20 into ea divided by 2.303 8.3114 which is equal to which if you solve it you will get this also okay and then ea is equal to you just include all those things divided by 20 just reversible reciprocal it will reciprocal and then uh, ea is equal to what is the value of Gilo, uh, joule mole inverse we need to convert that as a kilojoule so into thousand so what will happen it will go inside so 52.86 kilojoule per mole the next is some the rate constant for the decomposition of hydrocarbon is 2.418 into the power of minus 5 second inverse at 546 Kelvin. If the energy of activation is 179.9 kilojoule per mole, what will be the value of pre-exponential factor? So, what is given in that rate constant is given, okay? The rate constant is given at given temperature is 546 Kelvin is there. So, no need to plus with 273. So, we will take it as it is and the energy of activation Ea is also given. What is the value of pre-exponential factor they are asking? So, according to the Arrhenius theory, what is the formula is there? We know that k is equal to a e power of minus e a by r t. This is the exponential factor of e activation energy exponential factor e power. Okay. So, we have, we have to insert ln for both the sides. So, ln k is equal to ln a minus of e a by r t. This will come down if you add a ln. So, if you add a log, then it becomes 2.303. Log k is equal to log a minus e a by 2.303 r t. So, log a is equal to, if you take this as this side, so log a is equal to log k plus e a divided by, it becomes positive sign, okay, 2.303 rt. If you insert the k constant, uh, rate constant uh, k in this place and e a value is also given, that is 179.9, this is also here and then see here, it's a kilojoule, we need to make it as a joule, okay. If everything has to be in the same, same, so we have to change that. And 2.303, 8.314 kilojoule inverse and mole inverse into 576 Kelvin. If you do everything and then you will get 12.5914. So, log A is equal to this much. So, A is equal to anti-lag of this one, we will get 3.9, 10 to the power of 12 second inverse. The next is some fourth reaction is fourth equation fourth problem is the temperature coefficient of a reaction is 2 what does it mean how is the rate of such reaction affected if temperature rise from 313 kelvin to 343 kelvin so what is temperature coefficient the temperature coefficient is the rate constant at which every temperature every 10 degree rise in temperature at rate constant at temperature which is equal to here it's given as 2 okay so every 10 degree rise in temperature the equal the rate of the reaction increases 2 okay what uh, how is the rate of the reaction affected if the temperature rises from 313 to 343 that is the question so when the temperature is rises from 313 to 343 means 30 degree rise in temperature is there so the 10 degree rise is 2 means 30 degree rise means 2 into 2 into 2 so 3 uh, tens are there so 3 2 we have to multiply then we will get 8 times rise in temperature the uh, rate of the reaction is increasing 8 times thanks for watching subscribe my channel and click the bell button so that you will get notification in the upcoming videos like it and share to your friends also thank you